In this video, we will cover the easiest way to tackle probability questions on the decision-making subtest of a UCAT. Our goal is to express every proportion or probability in the affirmative and then simplify. This is important as the questions often try and trick you by stating things in a negative way by saying what things are not rather than saying what they are. This magical method I am about to show you will allow you to confidently draw conclusions from the text by swapping negative statements for positive ones. Our objectives over the next six minutes or so are to define what it means to express fractions and percentages in the affirmative and show you how to simplify fractions. Let us start, as always, with an example. First, everything must be in the affirmative. That means we want to know what proportion is something, not what proportion is not something. I would start by thinking of this as a hierarchical classification with the category being at the top of your pyramid, i.e. 30 balls. Then colour, i.e. whether the ball is blue or black, followed by the pattern, i.e. whether it is stripes or not stripes. It allows you to gather your thoughts in a logical fashion. Also, the key word in this question is striped, as we are being asked if Ash is more likely to pick up a blue striped ball compared to a black striped ball. OK, let's get started. There are 30 balls in total. These can be separated by colour, blue or black. We are told that 18 balls are blue, so it can be concluded by doing 30 minus 18 in your head that 12 balls are black. Well done. Now I have to move on to pattern. We are told that three of the blue balls are striped. OK, great. So we know that three out of 18 blue balls are striped. Last but not least, we know that there are 12 black coloured balls in total. 10, we are told, are not striped. It can be deducted from doing 12 minus 10 that two black balls are striped. Great, so now we know that two out of the 12 black balls are striped. Now to look at the question. It asks us, is the ball he grabs more likely to be striped if it is blue? Right, we have our two fractions from our previous working out. Three out of 18 blue balls are striped and two out of 12 black balls are also striped. To simplify, we must divide both parts of each fraction by any number they have in common. First, we know 3 out of 18 blue balls are stripes. 3 out of 18 both have the number 3 as a common factor. Therefore, dividing by 3 will give us 1 out of 6 blue balls are stripes. Perfect. We know 2 out of 12 black balls are stripes. 2 and 12 both have the number 2 as a common factor. Dividing by 2 gives us 1 out of 6 black balls are stripes. Awesome. This means that Ash is not more likely to get a striped ball if it is blue. The answer is therefore no, the chance of getting a striped ball is the same whether the ball he picks is blue or black, since the probability of Ash picking a blue striped ball or a black striped ball for both is 1 in 6. The fractions are equal. Converting into affirmative and simplifying is by far the quickest way of resolving these probability questions. Let's see if you can do this on a different question. Rephrasing the fraction into the affirmative gives the following two results from the morning and evening workshops. 6 out of 42 guests leaving early in the morning and 8 out of 64 guests leaving early in the evening. Simplify these fractions by dividing by common factors. We get 6 out of 42, which becomes 1 out of 7, and 8 out of 64, which becomes 1 out of 8. 1 out of 7 is a greater fraction than 1 out of 8. A greater fraction is equivalent to a greater proportion. The answer is that Deba is right, yes, as the fraction leaving early in the morning is greater than the fraction leaving early in the evening. We hope that this video has made you more confident in tackling such probability questions. They occur quite frequently, comprising 5-15% to of the questions, and so you can save precious time by answering them swiftly, ideally in under 30 seconds. Good luck! That concludes another UCAT lesson. If you like the strategies and content we're developing and want to see more free content, please leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any UCAT questions, leave us a comment below and we'll help you sort it out and get your preparation up to speed.